All right, so first off, you want to remove all four of these uh, base plugs at the bottom of the modem itself. Now you should have something that looks like this. It's got uh, four screws in each of the base plugs, where the base plugs were uh, in the base. Now all you got to do is just unscrew these. So once all the four bottom screws are removed, you're then going to have to turn the motor up the right way around. Then you're going to have to pull back the side that hasn't got the LED lights on it. All right, so it's just this plain back side. You're going to pull and it should come away. It should be the key word. All right, I've noticed that was a bit arduous trying to remove the ignore my cup in the background. Uh, trying to remove the back case of the modem for the Vivid Wireless. As you can see, it's got all these catches and these grooves that um, obviously, what I did was basically got a knife in there, just in here, and I just like moved it left and right just slightly, just till I heard it pop. Then I noticed one of the catches come free. So then from there, I pulled slightly and just gently because it's made out of plastic. And amazingly, I didn't break any of them. So it's pretty good design. <laughs> That's right, what we got in here now, I'm going to have to shine the light onto it, is the two copper panels. Air focus. And the ant one and ant two, and it's held together. It's obviously held together by some sort of a resin. Um, you know, I'm going to have to remove that and uh, tuck the cables away in the back. All right, so let's do that, shall we? So you just gotta detach the first Ant-1 cable. I think that just comes, pops right out, I'm pretty sure. I'm doing it with a knife, but gently, yep, just comes right out. Just gotta pop those cables up, it comes free. Now you got Ant-1, Ant-2. Now there's this sticky resin here, who's messaging me? So I got rid of the res, I moved the resin, I Detach the two antenna cords. Now I'm just going to tuck them away in the back. All right, just like that. It doesn't have to be fancy, just nice and tucked away so that you can put your mini cables in. All right. So I got these from Australia. Most of the, all the parts came from Australia because it can be stuffed waiting for bloody postage from China or Hong Kong. Right, so now you've got your first antenna point, you'll just slowly stick. Actually, what I should do first is drill a hole in the side for the um, external output. Focus, focus, there we go. Now, once you've um, drilled your holes, as you could see in the video, I was using a uh, normal standard kitchen knife um, because I didn't have, a, I don't have a drill on me, and don't ask why I don't have one. I just don't. Um, and it only took about maybe five minutes to drill the proper size hole with a kitchen knife. Probably take you less than five seconds to do it with the drill. But uh, yeah, anyway, so when you've got the holes, all you want to do is insert the cable you should come with another nut another standard nut so what you want to do is stick it through and then tight there and that's number one done now you grab the second one
Um, now what you want to do is connect to your antenna ports. I usually, I doesn't really, I don't think it matters which one is which, considering I'm just going to put the top one as antenna one and the bottom one as antenna two, and probably mark at the top. But I don't think, really think that means much. Anyway, so we're going to put this. Alright, uh, once once you've clipped the casing, just make sure that the wires don't get cut by the circular bit of plastic that happens to be poking out there. That's to fit in the socket, just make sure the wires are avoided of that area. Um, there we go, there's the Vivid Wireless um, mod for the better Wi-Fi reception from the exchange to your modem. Alright, now we're going to plug in the the Wi-Fi panels. When I brought these online, I was surprised at actually how big they are. I thought they were going to be like the size of that cup over there, but, but they're literally size of like an iPad mini, like your hand, exactly. But um, yeah, so all you've done once you've uh, put your connectors in, all you do is just hook this up. Now when you've got it plugged in, it should look something like this. Now, I'm pretty surprised that with the knife I aligned those holes almost, I think, exact. Anyway, so it should be connected to your two panels now. Um, however you set these up are really up to you. These, honestly to me, the brand is, I don't even want to pronounce it. Got that, so you can put somewhere where you can maneuver it. You know, move it around. Obviously, you're going to need something with a nut on this side and a nut on this side, and then like just untighten it, move it, tighten it back up again, that kind of thing. So I'm going to show you what it looks like outside.